in atherosclerosis, the buildup of plaques makes arteries narrower and um, greatly increase the risk of coronary heart disease, uh, strokes, heart attacks, and the lies. Um, based on our findings, ABCEVs have the potential to be developed into new treatment for atherosclerosis or may be incorporated into existing ones for improved efficacies. Macrophage are uh, immune cells that eat up certain things in the body like pathogens and dead cells and we found that they are, have quite the appetite for RBC EVs, you know, extracellular vesicles. Um, they take up the EVs at high risk and process the components from the EVs. As a result, the behavior of macrophages changes, they accumulate less lipid and express lower level of protein that can cause inflammations. This finding is useful because uh, built up of fatty blood and excessive inflammations are two cornerstones of atherosclerosis. So it's possible that any treatments based on ABCEVs can benefit from targeting both factors instead of either one. Right. So atherosclerosis is a condition in which the artery walls um, exhibit these buildup of substances. So we call them plaques. So the plaques are made up of um, various substances, it, mm, most saliently cholesterol and also uh, other cells. So the buildup of the plaques narrow the blood vessels, the arteries, and that could lead to high blood pressure and restricted blood flow to the various organs in the body. So uh, atherosclerosis could thus lead to cardiovascular diseases and complications like stroke and uh, heart attacks and all of those. Well, macrophages are immune cells in the body that um, um, naturally um, the cleaner of the um, circulation because they they uh, recognize pathogens, dead cells, they breathe um, that they can eat them up and uh, they clear them from the circulation so that they um, uh, so so there are none of them uh, left over and they the and macrophages are able to release molecules that um, lead to uh, inflammation so uh, we can recruit. They can recruit other cell types to the to um, the inflammation site um, in order to build up a response to um, those dead cell and pathogens. Oh well, ABCVs um, uh, extracellular vesicles from red blood cells. So these are type of vesicles that derive from the cell membranes. Um, this. Uh, uh, messengers of the cell that uh, carry a lot of biomolecules like protein and RNA um, to other cells for communications. In our lab, we harness these mechanisms to carry uh, certain drugs that we can deliver to other cells uh, with a lot of advantages because these uh, EVs are natural, so they are non toxic and non immunogenic, they are taken up well by other cells. It does seem that RBCEVs have an advantage in this regard. So if you look at uh, many other types of nano-sized particles that are under research for therapeutic delivery, a common concern is that they tend to cause inflammation and um, other immune responses. So according to our data, our RBCEVs don't seem to have this tendency and can even reduce inflammation. So this opens up like many new avenues for their application. So we're looking at maybe a non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. And at this point, we are optimistic yeah, and eager to explore this potential more. Yes, um, atherosclerosis is a major underlying cause of cardiovascular diseases and complications. We are the leading cause of death globally this is because atherosclerosis, um, in atherosclerosis, the buildup of plaques makes arteries narrower 
and um, greatly increase the risk of coronary heart disease, uh, strokes, heart attacks, and the likes. Um, based on our findings, ABCEVs have the potential to be developed into new treatment for atherosclerosis or may be incorporated into existing ones for improved efficacies. This way, a whole host of um, cardiovascular diseases can be addressed more effectively at their root cause. Right, so we hope that our findings will provide the foundation for a new treatment for atherosclerosis. So this would especially benefit patients who do not respond well to existing medication, for example, due to the existence of a comorbidity. So as mentioned, we could also incorporate uh, RBCEVs into existing treatment by encapsulating the currently available medication inside the RBCEVs. So this could potentially boost the effectiveness of the overall treatment and thus improve the healthcare outcomes for patients. We have other research groups which have previously shown that the protein hemoglobin can have beneficial effects in atherosclerosis. So on the other hand, our lab has been working very intensively on RBCEVs for um, multiple applications such as as carriers to deliver drugs in the body. So we already knew that RBCEVs have a lot of hemoglobin, right? And naturally, we were curious whether that meant they could protect against atherosclerosis as well. So you see the convergence of these lines of thinking was what gave rise to our main hypothesis. And it has been very exciting for us to uncover this whole new aspect of what RBCVs can do. Um, one key feature of RBCVs is that they are versatile and amenable to modifications. So we are currently exploring various ways to improve the formulations. Um, for example, we may load other drugs into RBCEVs to complement the natural benefits of RBCEVs themselves. We may also attack certain molecules on the surface of RBCEVs to improve their specific targeting, which would lower the therapeutic dose and minimize side effects. Um, a comprehensive, rationally designed formulation based on RBCEVs may someday have to manage the multiple components and symptoms of atherosclerosis and other complex diseases.